Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's nice to be sewing with you today. Today I'm challenging myself to see what I can make out of this little bag of scraps that was given to me. Black and white half square triangles mostly. And there were a few other little squares that I'm gonna see if I can squeeze in there too. I need to make some table toppers for an upcoming retreat auction and I thought this would be the perfect little project. See what I could squeeze out of this little bag of scraps. So let's see how many of the pieces I can use, how many will be left over. Let's get started. Here is the little baggie that held all these little mystery squares. I'm going to call them because I don't know if they were leftovers or if they were the beginning of a project. So I have a few of these hourglass blocks that are three and a half inches, but there were quite a few of some half square triangles. Some were made correctly and some were a little off and I'll show you those in just a minute. But I thought, let's see if these half square triangles make hourglasses that are the same size as the other ones that came in the bag. So I did my normal thing and I drew a line down the middle and I sewed on either side of that line. Once I had pressed the hourglass blocks, I checked to be sure what size they were. I thought if they're not the right size, I could even trim down these hourglass blocks that were already pre-made, but they were really, really close. So I just trimmed off the tiniest bit and we were good to go. Once I had a lot of uh, hourglass blocks made, I looked to see what was still left over and I had some half square triangles that were a little off. You can see that the um, right side on that one was a little big. The seam doesn't go through the middle. So I tried to figure out what am I gonna do with these sort of funny um, half square triangles. And what I came up with was I'm going to make some flying geese units and see if that will work. So I trimmed all my hourglass blocks to three and a half inches and then I took these half square triangles that were, like I said, the seam doesn't go down the middle. So I put the dark sides on opposite ends and then I'm going to sew down the middle just like I did with the half square triangles and I'm going to see if I can make some flying geese units with these little leftover pieces. So I'm using an imaginary pencil line. I did not draw the line like I did on the first one I did with you, but I, it's the same concept. I, sh I kind of imagine a line going through the middle and then I cut right along that line. As you can see, when I open these up, they're quite different than an hourglass block. Those points of the triangles don't match. So what I did is I aimed for the center and it was about a quarter inch away from each of the tops of those triangles. So that gives me enough room to put a seam in and not lose the point of my triangle. And they were all just a little bit bigger or just about one and a half inches.
And as you can see here, some of these units have a light triangle and most of them had a dark triangle, but I'm still gonna see if I can use these with the light triangles. And um, I didn't make that many. I think there were only 12 of these little tiny pieces. And I'm gonna see how I can add them to my table mat. Remember, this is sort of a personal challenge, so I'm just trying to see how much of this little bag of scraps I can squeeze into my little tiny quilt. I worked around my little quilt using my little flying geese, putting them this way and that, and I cut some strips that are one and a half inches wide. They're all different lengths, and all of my flying geese units are one and a half inches. So I'm gonna work around my little quilt, and I'm going to add these little flying geese units willy-nilly all the way around my little quilt. This was a really fun way to use up every last bit. So I worked one side at a time and I just attached that long strip to the first side and then I just kept doing the same thing all around this little table mat.
So what do you think, friends? How does all that look? <laughs> I kind of like the way this turned out and in the future I will be quilting all my little table mats. I'm going to set some time aside and I think I'll work on a few on one day and I'll probably uh, take you along on that adventure too. So thank you for joining me today and I'll see you next time.